10 Biggest Submarine Disasters in History 10th place ARA San Juan ARA San Juan was an TR-1700 type Argentine Navy submarine built by Thyssen Nordseewerk in Germany and commissioned in 1985 on November 15, 2017, while on a routine patrol mission in the South Atlantic Ocean, ARA San Juan disappeared and was declared missing. An international search and rescue operation involving several countries including the United States was launched to locate the submarine. After several weeks of searching, ARA San Juan's wreck was found on the ocean's floor about 907 meters below the surface. All 44 crew members on board ARA San Juan were declared dead. The cause of ARA San Juan's sinking was determined to be a failure in its battery system, which resulted in a fire and an explosion. Ninth place, K3 Leninsky Komsomol. K3 Leninsky Komsomol was a Soviet nuclear-powered submarine that served in the Soviet Navy during the Cold War area. The submarine was launched in 1959 and was the lead ship of the 627 Kit class. K-3 was the first nuclear-powered submarines delivered to the Soviet Navy and it was the world's third nuclear submarine after USS Nautilus and USS Seawolf. K-3 was plagued by numerous problems. They concerned, for example, radiation level on board the ship, very elevated in the reactor section. However, the most dangerous of the known accidents occurred in a completely different place, in the bow section where the torpedo tubes were located. An explosion and fire that occurred during a patrol in the Norwegian Sea on September 8, 1967 caused the death of at least 39 people. The ship did not sink, which allowed for a thorough investigation of the accident and its causes. Despite the accident, K3 continued to serve in the Soviet Navy until it was decommissioned in 1989. Currently, work is underway to transform the ship into a museum and completion is planned for 2023. 8th place K-8 K-8 was a nuclear-powered Soviet Navy submarine designated as 627A type, also known as a November-class submarine. The submarine was commissioned in 1960. Its armament consisted of torpedoes armed with nuclear warheads, an ideal weapon to destroy particular important naval targets, such as enemy aircraft carriers of ship groups. In April 1970, while on a training mission in the Bay of Biscay, K-8 experienced a fire in one of its torpedo tubes which triggered an explosion. The submarine suffered extensive damage, and 52 of its crew members were killed in the incident. The ship sank while being towed. During the investigation carried out after the disaster, the blame of the sinking of the ship was placed on the crew, disregarding numerous structural defects. Allegedly, K-8 was ordered to deploy 20 torpedoes with nuclear warheads as mines in the Gulf of Naples. They were to be used to block the US 6th fleet. It is not known whether this mission was accomplished. During the exploration of the wreck, only 4 torpedoes from the full load of 24 were found on its deck which may confirm the fact that a minefield was set up near Naples. 7th place K-278 Komsomolek K-278 was a Soviet nuclear-powered submarine built for the Soviet Navy during the Cold War area. The submarine was launched in 1983 and was the lead ship of the Type 685. K-278 was one of the most advanced submarines of its time, with a top speed of 50 knots and a maximum diving depth of 1000 meters. The submarine was also equipped with advanced weapons systems, including torpedoes and cruise missiles. In April 1989, K-278 experienced a severe fire on one of its compartments, which resulted in the deaths of 42 crew members. The incident was caused by a faulty well that ignited a hydraulic fluid leak, and then a fire which quickly spread throughout the compartment. 
Despite the efforts of the surviving crew members, the fire proved impossible to extinguish and the submarine sank to the bottom of the Norwegian Sea. The wreckage of K-278 was located by a Norwegian research vessel in 1989 and is now lying at the depth of over 1,500 meters. Torpedoes with nuclear warheads are still on board. In 2019 Norwegians confirmed that Konsomolek began to emit radioactive radiation. 6th place HMS Affray HMS Affray was a British Royal Navy submarine that was commissioned in 1946 and was part of the Amphion class of submarines. It was named after the word affray, which means a public disturbance of a brawl. The submarine had a crew of 75 men and was 86 meters long, with a top speed of 18 knots while submerged. On April 16, 1951, while on a training exercise in the English Channel, HMS Affray disappeared without a trace. The search of the missing submarine involved over 50 vessels and aircraft from the Royal Navy, as well as international assistance, but no wreckage was found. In 1956, a French fishing trawler discovered a wreck of the submarine in the English Channel, near the Channel Islands. The cause of the submarine's sinking is still unknown, but it is believed to have been due to a mechanical failure on a collision with an unknown object. All 75 crew members on board HMS Afraid perished in the accident. 5th place, K-19 K-19 was a 658-type Soviet nuclear-powered submarine that was commissioned in 1961. K-19 was one of the most unlucky submarines in global naval history, or one of the worst built. Steam generators or condensers were leaking and the military utility of this ship was questionable. This was largely due to the construction program being carried out too hastily, but above all to the low qualifications of the employees building the ship. K-19 was involved in a serious nuclear accident in 1961, which resulted in the deaths of several crew members due to radiation exposure. The incident was kept secret by the Soviet government for many years and only became public knowledge in the 1980s. The story of the K-19 was the subject of the 2002 Hollywood film starring Harrison Ford and Liam Neeson. Until the end of service in April 1990, K-19 had several more incidents, the largest of which was a collision with the American submarine USS Gato in 1969, as well as an extensive fire in February 1972. A series of technical problems and unfortunate accidents on the ship, resulting in the death of more than 50 people as a result of all accidents, did not prevent K-19 from serving. Fourth place, USS Treasure. USS Treasure was a United States Navy nuclear-powered attack submarine commissioned in 1961. The submarine was the first of the type Treasure ships. In April 1963, USS Treasure was conducting sea trials off the coast of the New England when it suddenly sank, resulting in the loss of all 129 crew members. The cause of the sinking was attributed to a failure in the submarine's seawater piping system, which led to a loss of power and inability to surface. The wreckage of USS Treasure was located on the seafloor in 1964, and the number of efforts have been made over the years to retrieve artifacts and pieces of submarine for study. The loss of USS Treasure was the one of the deadliest submarine disaster in US Navy history. Third place, USS Scorpion. USS Scorpion was a United States Navy nuclear-powered attack submarine. It was commissioned in 1960 and was the lead ship of the Skipjack class. The submarine was part of the Atlantic fleet and was stationed in Norfolk, Virginia. The basic weakness of the Scorpion was the high noise level during the submerged voyage, caused especially by the rudders on the conic tower and the five-blade propeller. Thanks to the excellent hydrodynamics of the hull and the nuclear propulsion, Scorpion was the fastest underwater ship in the world during the service, with a very high degree of maneuverability. USS 
Scorpion went missing on May 22, 1968, while on a routine patrol mission in the Atlantic Ocean. After an extensive search operation, the submarine was found on the ocean's floor about 750 kilometers southwest of the Azores Islands. All 99 crew members on board USS Scorpion perished in the submarine's sinking. The cause of the USS Scorpion's sinking has never been definitively determined. Some theories suggest that the malfunction in the submarine's torpedo tubes may have caused an explosion on board. Other theories suggest that the USS Scorpion may have been attacked by a Soviet submarine. Second place, HMS Titus. HMS Titus was a Royal Navy submarine named after the sea nymph in Greek mythology. HMS Titus experienced several setbacks during its sea trials, including a malfunction in its torpedo tubes and flooding in its engine room. On June 1, 1939, during its final sea trial, HMS Titus sank in Liverpool Bay, trapping 99 crew members on board. Despite extensive rescue efforts, only four crew members were able to escape from the submarine, and the remaining 95 perished. The cause of the sinking was attributed to a combination of technical faults and human error, including incorrect procedures for testing the submarine's buoyancy. Rescuers were ready to a matter of minutes to drill a hole in the hull that would have saved the lives of almost a hundred people. The command was afraid that any hole in the hull would weaken it so much that the ship would not be able to submerge to the planned depth in the future. In practice this meant a death sentence for the crew of HMS Titus. The wreck of HMS Titus was salvaged and was recommissioned in 1940 as a HMS Thunderbolt, serving in the Mediterranean and Atlantic during the World War II. The submarine was sunk by the Italians in 1943. First place K141 Kursk. Kursk was a Russian Navy Oscar II class nuclear powered submarine commissioned in 1994. The ship measured a length of 155 meters. In August 2000, while participating a military exercise in the Barents Sea, Kursk experienced a catastrophic explosion and sank, killing all 118 crew members on board. The exact cause of the explosion was a malfunctioning torpedo that exploded inside the submarine. It was caused by a hydrogen peroxide leak from the Type 6576 torpedo, which caused a fire and explosion in the torpedo tube and then the fire caused the explosion of warheads in the torpedo room. The Russian government attempted to keep details of the disaster secret. The initial response of the Russian government to the disaster was criticized as being slow and inadequate. Russia initially did not want to accept help in the rescue operation from the UK, Norway or the USA. The ship was equipped with 24 torpedoes. One of them was fired just before the accident, while the other exploded and caused it. So there were still 22 torpedoes left in the torpedo room, all with conventional warheads. Seven of them exploded during the accident, which meant that in the torpedo room there were 15 torpedoes with warheads, the condition of which after the explosion in the compartment was unknown. In 2001 the wreck of the ship was recovered from the bottom of the sea.